The Panthers' schedule for next year finally out looks pretty favorable. Their opponent's combined winning percentage under 500. To break it down, I'm Nick Carboni here with Kelsey Ricks. Kelsey, when you look at the Panthers' slate next year, what's their signature win going to be? I'm going to go, hopefully, this game, Week 12 against the Saints. The Panthers have struggled against the Saints in New Orleans the last few seasons. They're only one in out of their last four games there. They've only won one in the last three seasons. I think this could be a big win for the Panthers on the road. Signature win for me comes December 15th at home against the Seahawks. This is a team they've had a great rivalry with the last handful of years. Always seems to be something on the line. Cam Newton, Russell Wilson comparisons. They stole one here last year. Panthers get a big, big one there in December. What's your bad loss? I'm going to go week 16 against the Colts. I think the Colts are a team that's dangerous. There have been a lot of comparisons between Andrew Luck and Cam Newton. They're a team that made the playoffs last year, made a little run in the playoffs actually, and coming at the end of the season before their final home game of the season, I think this could be a tough one for the Panthers. Yeah, it's my bad loss too. It's very feasible for them to lose that game the way Andrew Luck has guided the Colts, especially last year, but I think where it falls is going to be a bad loss for the Panthers, and we know Devin Funch is going to talk about that one for years <laughs> to come. Your trap game, maybe they shouldn't lose it, but based on where it falls, it could bite them. You know, I'm actually going to go to week one for mm. this one because I think this is a big game for the Panthers. You're playing a team that's just coming off of a Super Bowl appearance, and it's so important to start the season off strong. They're starting the season off at home for the second straight year. I think that this could be a big one for the Panthers. I see this as a trap. Week five at home against Jacksonville. You're staring at that London game right in the face, and maybe the Jaguars flying under the radar early in the season with Nick Foles now in the fold. All right, Kelsey, your pivotal matchup of the year, pivotal game. I've got to go week 17. You finally get to have the Saints at home to end the season. As I mentioned earlier, whenever they play the Saints, this is always a big rivalry. This is a big game. I think it's going to be pivotal. This could be a very big game for the Panthers. To have them here at home to end the season is a big deal. Not to be a coach, but the most important game is the next game, and that is week one against the Rams. Chance to get off to a good start at home. Chance to take on the NFC champs. See what Cam's shoulders got. See what your defense has against that offense. And see what your offense has. All right, Kelsey, final record. I'm going to go 12-4. and four. I actually like the, the opponents that the Panthers have this season. As you mentioned earlier, about 500. I'm going to go 12-4. and four. I think it could be a year, good year for the Panthers. 11-5 and five wild card. That's not a bad year either. Yeah. All right, that'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.